Hi. This is what we'll be making today. Five different sizes of these adorable boxes. Look at these different sizes. And they all take one sheet of pattern paper and they all close up by themselves. So pretty awesome. It is Karen. And Tim. From Stamping on the Back Porch. Welcome to our weekly show. And first, we've got, got mail. mail. Love, love, oh, love doing mail. Way. Okay. Can I do this up here? Oh, oh, Tim has a story first. I have Change a story. Of plans. Story time with Tim. My moose needed a name. And thank you to all of you with all these suggestions. Yes, and you really know, he is news. Timothy Titus, TT. So he knew it had to be an MM for moose. Moose. And he looked, we made a list of all the suggestions and Tim came up with what he's and it's going not, to call it. It's not Mickey Moose. <laughs> Could be Mickey Moose, but, but I um, I have a favorite TV show called Monty Python. So it's Monty the Moose. Monty the Moose. I love it. Anyway, Monty the Moose also has another story in that when I worked for um, Fairview Treatment Centers, I wrote a lot of letters. And one time I got a letter back to Monty Titus. And I was like, whoa, what is that? I'm Timothy Titus. And I looked at my signature and you swore it didn't say Timothy. It, it said Monty. So. <laughs> okay. So that all reminded him. So it is now it is Monty, Monty Moose. Moose. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Kathy, for that Monty Moose. So now, oh, we might as well finish a couple of other things then. This week's drawing is going to Peggy Blowers. This is for that fun little little uh, set with all the little Santa things. So Peggy, email me your message. I'll pop it in the mail. Email her, your address. At your address. I did I say message? Message, yes. <laughs> and we're going to do one more holiday set. This is for this week's giveaway because it has a to and from. So even if you've done your cards, you still might have some gifts. And it fits into today, today's theme because today we're doing little gift packages. So this is really a lovely uh, two-step stamp. So it is beautiful. It is called Good Tidings. That is the drawing for this week. A comment, a comment share. We love it. I can't yeah, wait to find out what I'm going to make today because I've heard I'm making something, but I don't he, know he I, never knows. I never know. And as long as we're doing announcements, we'll finish. This is the host code, and you do know I'm giving those beautiful gifts. This I don't even have one handy. I think you've seen them for um, orders of fifty dollars or more this oh. month. They're my annual customer appreciation. Do you want to just go get one? They're, they're in the box there. You just grab one to see. Uh, and I have three sentences to go with this and I misplaced the third. So if yours is the third, please send it again. I, I will look again for it. But I love this one that came from Stormy Swan. She said her husband came up with this one. Four board deer that's crossed road 673. That's a really <laughs> clever one. And it totally fits the it road does. 673. I love that. And thank you for contributing a mail kind of. Yeah. Uh, for, for hunters everywhere. Yeah. And Lori Helgeson's, I loved hers too. Four, four bone density x ray 673. A little June, more depressing thought, but you know. <laughs> June of 1973. <laughs> anyway, but it's all wonderful. Yeah. These are the gifts. Any one of these. I did a whole video on how to make those too. So that's really fun because they're, you know, they take a couple minutes. And it is the 12th year in a row that I have been giving those in December for gifts, which is really awesome. And, and then nobody my, is going to let her stop. So, And my last comment, my last announcement is tomorrow night is the next All Good Cards Club. Did you know I have an All Good Cards Club? It's only $15 a month. You can also just try out one class um, at a different price. So I will put a thing. Uh, and we kind of spend the weekend together. So it's tomorrow night and twice on Saturday, but you get the videos, PDFs forever. So it doesn't matter if you're not live. This month is all about wrapping, cute little wraps. So we're doing a dozen fun wraps. So this is one just to show a little, isn't that just adorable? Could be used for so many things. Uh, and one of the 12 I'm doing on here. So this is also a little preview, but then you get all of this in there and 11 more. So just to know. So anyway. And a, another question is, if yesterday was a partridge in a pear tree, what will today be? I went I went to visit my friend Oren and and the, anyway, the, the, the nursing home oh, director. In hospice. in hospice. The nursing home director came by with a gift and it was a partridge in a pear tree. 
and with, and so, with a pair. And I thought, and they're doing something every 12 days. And I yeah. thought, is that precious? So, I thought, but I don't know what's next. So you'll have to find out. I know. But I think that's really just, uh, you think of all the fun little traditions that people come up with. That's really awesome. Now. And think about how many ways I can distract us from the, the subject oh, at hand. And thank you, Karen, for mine. She just said she just sent me a check for a gift card. Yeah. Remember, I give out gift cards. And they are ready to go out and you get free shipping when you redeem, redeem them. So whether they're for you or for somebody else, gift yourself for Christmas. And okay. I mail them. And, and Tim mails them. So that is awesome. So I think that takes care of the announcements. But now let's do mail. One of my favorite things of the whole week to do. Jennifer Becker from North Carolina. Oh, <laughs> that is adorable. Look at that penguin. Oh, is this cute. That is. Oh, that is the sweetest card. Oh, look at and do you see how it just fits like that? That is beautiful. So it's a trifold. It opens. <laughs> and we have the pink one with the, the antlers. Oh, that is absolutely adorable. That is. Be cool, be chill, be merry. <laughs> what a fun card. <laughs> Two turtle doves will be the next one, Ooh. Tim. Oh, that? okay. Thank so, you. Oh, and Jane Ficken from Nebraska. Ooh, love this. Do you see how this is? This is another fold card that stands like that. And you see how it folds up so it fits just right in an envelope? That is so cool. It's flat and then it pops open. open. Yeah. Isn't that cool? It looks like that. Awesome. And it can sit love on it. your mantle. Yes. Oh, just love that. And look how the paper just goes through and we've got the, uh, the moose there. That is gorgeous. Oh, these are so fun. You guys are loving these cards. <laughs> Janine says, yes, Tim, keep talking. You may not have to craft. <laughs> yes. Betty Burke from Virginia, and it lost its little oh, belly band, no, so I have to quit put this on. Oh, you took it off, Tim? Your, your husband oh, cut it when I was opening the envelope. Oh, Tim and his cutter. So we're going to no, pretend it's, it's supposed to, he, you know, he takes a little envelope cutter and he you know, slid right through it. A so. paring knife from my kitchen. Oh, okay. It isn't your trusty little no. thing. Okay. No, no. My parents. So we're going to pretend this falls together. And how cool is this? <laughs> it's a belly band, broken so, belly band. And look, band. she did the envelope too. Isn't that lovely when you do the flap of the envelope? Yep. Look how just pretty that looks together. So we're going to pretend this just slides right off. We'll have to do does. a little doctoring there. Oh, you guys, these fun full cards are so fun. Look at that. Christmas blessings. And there you can write right in the middle there. Or you can just put a stamp there and. Yeah. I'd be done. Oh, I anything. love it. These are amazing cards. I hope you guys are getting screenshots of what you need. And, and, and Betty, okay. let, me, let me just tell you that I plan on fixing that before today. Yes. And I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't even want to be known for. And we have Sandy Kane from Florida. Oh, you know, this is a die that is retiring. And Hmm. I haven't even I played that. with it yet. That How so stunning nice. is that? Is that a triple? I, I think that's the one that is. You have to just tell me. Oh. I have, I, I'm assuming that that's what it's from because it looks like that. That that's is just, nice. I love, love, love that layout. And look at another trifold card right into Ooh. the middle. How cool. That is so cool. I love that. I just love all these folds too. I said, yes, this is so fun. Oh, that is a gorgeous card. We had a local weatherman take pictures of snowflakes magnified with a special camera. And it was yes, unbelievable, it was, all of the designs. Each in one snowflake. unique, yeah, yeah. When they talk about every snowflake being unique, oh, they were just so different, so amazing. Then we have Michelle Herrick from Nebraska. Oh, what fun with the paper. Oh, just love it. I love how she's got just a little strip of gifts. Look what an easy card that is and how stunning that is. I just love when paper does the work. So we've got it on two different papers here. Oh, what fun. Gorgeous card and a really, really cute layout. I think cards are um, pretty fun. Thanks, you guys, that share. Cynthia, I saw a few others. That is absolutely wonderful. And we are having, it's a beautiful day out today. I was going to go for a walk, but <laughs> I had to get ready for this. <laughs> but it, we've had a couple of really cold days. And now we're expecting a bunch of snow. So we'll Seven see. Seven inches. All, you know, it's going to snow all day tomorrow. Yes. And then we have Ann Schillinger from Pennsylvania. So we're going to go see my mom right after this because we're afraid, you know, we might not get out there if the snow comes for a couple of days because we are just being patient now. We uh, wait until our driveway shovel. One of the best <laughs> names of a town, Mountaintop. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Isn't that cool? 
Cool name. Oh, and oh, this is cool too. See how cool. Oh, oh look, look at, at this. that. A bookmark. Oh, yeah. love, love, love bookmarks. Look at how cool that is, you guys. <laughs> Just tucked right in here. And I love how she did hers. Oh, she's thanking me for her birthday cards. This, this is really awesome. See how it actually goes like that and it pulls like that. That is really an awesome card. That and is. I love the bookmark. We'll get a lot of use out of that. We, we will. Their books. Mm -hmm. Tim will. Tim will. Tim uses all the bookmarks because he uses bookmarks all the time. You will love that. I do. Oh, I love and that. that is, and he loves the stamp set. We I were do. talking about that. It's just a gorgeous stamp set. You know, that's the same. She was going to say adorable, but then she changed it to gorgeous. This is the same one that I have on this gift from a card. And I didn't make this card. It was in a swap. But I said, it's just such a lovely. It's adorable. It is we have Diane Cariotas from Illinois, and she lives really close to where our daughter is. One of these days, when the weather gets nice, we, I mean, this, this is never ending. We are going to meet again in person. Oh, that is stunning. Oh, and look what she did on the inside, too. Okay, I love, look at how the tree, this is that embossing folder that has the trees. I don't know how well you can see on here. The lighting is always interesting. But notice how she's done the tree out of the same paper. Yep. So it's very textured and more in Inside. here. Wow. That is gorgeous. Oh, these are just stunning cards, you guys. That is. And then we've got the uh, gold with the deer. That's it. That is really a gorgeous card, too. These are just stunning. And the ribbon matches the, the other accent. Yeah. Yeah, that's beautiful. And you notice a ribbon like this you can get by with mailing because look how cool this is. This is a bow. But if you're going to do that, look how this part is popped up. So that makes this even. You can still put a sheet on here if you're concerned about the thing. But if this is all flat and this pops up, it feels like more of a bump. If you have a couple things popped up, I always like that because it helps make it flatter. So cool. Vay Smith from Minnesota. Oh, fun. Tim, do you recognize this? We're going to see if Tim recognizes this. Oh, my goodness. Do you recognize these? From when we were at the grandkids? <gasps> Yes. They're from the boxes that they yes. made. They're from the yes. paper pumpkin. Yeah. And our grandkids had so much fun making those boxes. I think yes. paper pumpkin is so nice to just take along whenever we see them or just have something to grab. But she took those and yep. turned it into a card. That's very so cool. this is a, uh, a Z fold. It's folded in half and then half again. And it's, I love this because it's like the snowman is peeking behind the presents. Oh, what fun. <laughs> then, oh, what fun. That is adorable. Yeah, nice. <laughs> that is wonderful. And the earmuffs. I love the earmuffs. Wherever Denise is from, it's 65 degrees today here. Well, we'd all like to be with you. <laughs> Luba Bolix from New York. Okay. Oh, and was this? This wasn't a paper pumpkin, was it? I don't remember. I'm trying to remember. Or is it someone has to fill me in because sometimes I don't remember. And how cool and a fun note in here. But I love this. Love the trees. This is looking familiar like i think it was because i <laughs> luba but look how there? pretty this is yes you guys will know that uh how cool is that and look how she's got the little vellum trees right mm. above there mm. that is lovely and a note for me to read in a moment oh thank you luba next we have <gasps> peggy big from ohio oh cute Oh, love the little snowman in the snowfall folder. That is adorable. And look at the snowflake in here. Another snowflake. That's wonderful. Oh, that is really cute. I love that. And love the paper behind with the snowflakes. Very fun. I think Medina, Ohio has a beautiful square in downtown. And they make a lot of commercials there, like Chevy commercials. Samantha, I love Samantha's comment. She said the green car. Yes, it's a paper pumpkin or parts of one. <laughs> That's so true. Isn't that how we do things? Just love it. And then we have Vesta Streeb from Colorado. And this is like a box card. We did these before in a class, but we'll maybe have to do them again. Do you see how cool this is? And who's it for? Oh, it's for my mom. I gotta watch. I gotta watch this. Yes, oh, is this gonna be pretty standing on her? It is on her thing. Look at that. And with the gold little trees. That is gorgeous. We'll take it out there this that afternoon. Is, that is beautiful. So we're going there right afterwards. So set that one aside. Oh, that's beautiful. And that just stands. And it's so lovely like that. Yeah. Rebecca says, you can never go, go wrong with a snowman on a card. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> then we have Karen Ayers from New Hampshire. 
I love these um, snowflakes. <laughs> I think what they are, they're just on so many cards and they make such a statement with so little work. And I just love this with the deer over it. So we've got the snowflake being the, oh, what? And the it says, background. Oh, what fun. Oh, what fun. Merry Christmas. And it's a bookbinding class. How cool is that? And she's thanking me for doing this fun fold. This is the book binding. And we did that. It's one of our popular folds. So on our show between Christmas and New Year's, I'm going to do a review of the most popular folds that we did. I mean, I'm going to go look and see which things were the most popular. And then we'll recreate like the three top folds. But this this is one that might be in there. I have no idea. But I said, it's just kind of fun. So I thought that's kind of like time to kind of look at the last year and see how, how the year was. Okay. And this is from Chris Stargard from Wisconsin. And she's thanking me. She won one of the drawings for something. Oh, and this is all right, I call it a picture win bay window. I have to think of what the name was. Do you see a, these? Mm -hmm. All these fun full cards are so fun. So it stands up like that. But do you see how pretty that is? Yep, that was very nice. And it's just a scene that's going across here. So it's very easy. And I love, you'll see that snowflake again. Those snowflakes are amazing. They are not retiring. I'm thrilled. But it's like $6 for a whole bunch of them. They're just a great little accent. But that's gorgeous. Love, love that card. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh, these are all just so fun. Bonnie Warhol from Minnesota. Gorgeous poinsettia and you can never have too many poinsettias either. I love that she's done it all. This would be, I'm guessing it's cherry cobbler, but look how the background is the same. It's gone through mm -hmm. a folder, so it has some texture. These are the same color. And then she just has an accent with gold. Yeah. So it's really a monochromatic card with a touch of gold. And I thought that is really gorgeous. Beautiful layout. And absolutely lovely. And then we have Sharon Lynch from Minnesota. And oh, so fun. I I love trees. I love anything to do with nature. And look at this is, I, I believe she, she might have stamped this twice. Or it's probably sage and then the evergreen. So two colors. But just look how she's just got the two trees there. And a few little stars. And then the two kinds of paper. That is beautiful. Again, just a wonderful layout where you just can take two papers. You can orient it this way or this way. And then her accent is in the middle. Love that. Beautiful card. And a card like this, if you didn't have the stars on, it could be any kind of a card. So I, I love that too. We have one more. And this is from Sally Fallman from Florida. Uh, I was going to pay attention to cards from Florida and see how many of them had snowflakes on them. But no, no, I haven't because I just don't know. <laughs> yeah, is that more of a Midwestern thing in the snowman? I think it's all, you can just kind of appreciate things from afar, but this is another stunning card. We do have pine trees down there. Yeah, th this is really gorgeous. Uh, well, I love this uh, in color. Oh, and look how she's done Ooh. the inside. She's done this whole idea around. But I want to point out how this is tone on tone. So do you see how this mm -hmm. is? She's, this is a, a, a die back here. Yep. Then we have another kind of more ornate layer with the same paper and then the accent layer. So we have nice. all of that green and then the pretty part in the middle. These are gorgeous cards, you guys. That is fabulous. It's a beautiful ribbon. That is so fun. Okay, so today I'm going to show you the wraps first that we're going to do because we're going to do all five of these. And if you just have some pattern paper handy, you can cut right along with me if you didn't prepare them, but I'm going to go by different sizes. These all stand up. So they're just ador adorable. But just look at these. So we're going to recreate each of these. And I'm using all one of the new papers that is a free choice in celebration. Can I so do you one? will use anything. Do you want to do this one? Yeah. Perfect. That's a gorgeous one. Looks and, easier. Uh, they're all done the same and oh. you wouldn't know it. <laughs> Um, so that's what I'm just going to show you. You can start with whatever size object you have. I just think these are just all amazing. Look at this. All of these are done the same. But this one still is the easiest. It doesn't have anything. Well, it doesn't have, well, we're not going to do the trims today. But I thought, isn't this fun that this is one pattern and you can create it all these different ways and it closes up. So look at this, Tim. It just opens. Hmm. Put your gift in. Put your popcorn in. Yep. Close it up. And there it is. Very nice. Okay. Have you guys made these boxes? And I just thought this would be so fun. So again, this is a preview of kind of what we're going to do in 
I'm going to do a dozen different things. But the advantage of, you know, if you do one of my classes, the thing that's nice is you have your PDF all together with a dozen ideas. So it isn't like you're trying to go find, where was that one video where they did this one fold that I want to remember? This is all about different um, quick and easy fun folds all organized. But these I just think are so cool. So I'm going to show you how to make all these different sizes. And I just love, okay, he put his candy in his. And I thought, and then they can all just stand up. Okay, so are we ready? The class is tomorrow night and Saturday. And you use your own materials. In the class, I've listed what sizes of paper to have ready. As some people watch first and then create. But the other thing that's cool about class is we meet three times, but I will show a bunch of different styles. And then just like in the backport stampers, then people put up their variations and what we make. So you get lots of different ideas, which is pretty awesome. And I come and say hi. I, I deliver tea to Karen. Yeah, he says hi, but he kind of- But I'm not on the camera. But he enjoys the time. Okay. I do. You're going to make that one. So I'm going to start with the teeny tiny one. So this is like a teeny tiny treat, which would be really fun to put at tables or something like that. It's Timmy's tiny. Yes, I could put a little treat in there for you. So yes. <laughs> but you're going to just love how easy this is because I'm just going to show you how to make all of these. So you can make more sizes than here. So let's start with the smallest. And I believe that one would be a square. Oh, actually, you know what? I should start with the one that looks most like the diagram because I only have one diagram. So we'll start with this one. Change my mind just because once you've seen this one time, you're going to understand kind of what I'm doing but it might make sense. Oh, Tim, it's your box. Are we gonna start with your box? Whoa, what? What? Tim, do you wanna make this? Sure. Without my even having shown you one? Okay, true test here. <laughs> no, 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 no. What do you mean a true test? What am I doing? No, it's perfect. Okay, you guys, we are taking a sheet, a pattern paper that is five and a half by seven, and we're making okay. this one. Okay, so what do I, okay. what do I score at? You are going to score uh, this is what's cool. So this is five and a half. And um, I actually <laughs> look at that. I did this a little. Mm -hmm. I, it's, I, it's not cut perfectly, but it's going to be OK. Don't point out the, the problems. Here. We are going to do it like this, which means we're taking a half inch off, off the side. So um, score it at five. I think that other side of that one works better. I don't know why, but just like, OK. OK, we're going to score that. And then we're going to score this in half. This is five inches. So you're going to score that at two and a half. Uh, no, but that's not two and a half. Close. Close. <laughs> okay, do another one at two and a half. You know, sometimes we use our imagination and it'll be just fine. Karen, we'll make it fine. I'm coming down. There's two and a half though. That's two and a quarter. Oh, two and a half. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was way off. Okay, it was way off. Okay. And I'm going to fold this just so it's a little more obvious because we're going to pretend Oh, and then I think we're going to work on a more gentle touch. <laughs> okay. We're okay, going to see who gets this box. It doesn't matter. I this is my You're project. right. It doesn't matter. And we'll send this to somebody. Okay. So that would be great fun. Do okay. I fold this too? And you can fold that. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then do I, what do I do? And now what's cool, half of two and a half is one and a quarter. Okay. I should have given you one more basic. It's so two and a quarter. where do I do that? Well, okay. Uh, Okay, uh, uh, half of two and a half is one and a quarter. So you are going to do our so our base is going to be one and a quarter. Um, I'll put it this way so it's easier to see. Okay, you guys might want to wait and do the next one along with me, but enjoy this for now. So that's one and right a quarter. Yeah, right and fold that. And the only reason we're folding this ahead of time is so that you can see more easily what we're doing. You know, if you're making a bunch, you wouldn't. And now it's cool. We're going to put this on, and we're going to do each of these in half. So that's going to be at one and a quarter, just to the line. Okay, and one and a quarter. Uh, one here, come here, there. Oh, one. Uh, we got to work on some basic math. Adjust to the line there. Oops. <laughs> and, then, and then this is two and a half, so we're going to go three and three quarters would be one and a quarter. <laughs> we're going right to see if he wants, just see if he begs me to make another one. And, yep, and stop right there. Okay, <laughs> now we're going to cut these edges. But not all the way up. Just to the line. I'm going to let him fiddle with it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do others. And the last one, I'm just going to cut a little bit off there. Okay. So next, you're going to take this. Yep. Oh, no, I'm just going to do this part. <laughs> I'm not giving up on you. 
But I'm just going to let you do that. Sort of. Okay. I'm going to let you do that. <laughs> okay. Now what do I do? Just put it all together. Yeah. T- take that. I'm going to peel that off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they, he's killing it literally. <laughs> Kathy says she'll take any mistakes. They'll still look awesome. Yeah. We have to, we have to send this to someone. <laughs> it's just kind of fun. <laughs> If you need help getting it started, um, here would be a trusty little tool to get it started. You want to do that? Good idea. Good idea. Thank there. you. Mother. Okay. Okay. And now this is what's cool to close this up, guys. Okay, we just fold that and then fold this right over it. As Whoa. long as you have the right part. How cool is that? All I have to do is pretend that I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> and she'll take over. She'll take over. Okay. Now, okay. now close in your box. Just so I can be a box. Like this. Yep. Ooh. And look at that. And look at how the top stays together. Whoa. Is that, that just amazing, you guys? And then you can uh, corner round it at the top. That and is what we are making. Okay. Did you see how I did that? It was yeah. That was so cool. And to do that, you're just going to stick that all the way in. Okay. And then just push down there, down that. Yep. And the other. And it just kind of gives it a little finish at the top. Now, of course, you could put ribbon in or do anything, but you don't need to. I think that's what's so cool about these because they just um, stay nice and closed up. What did I do? Oh, I did it. You did it. Okay. Did it. And then we're just going to put, and actually, I wonder if we can't just close these up with glue dots. I'm going to look for my, uh, eh, I don't see any glue dots. So you can mess with Let that. Me use this. Okay. okay. You can go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and he's going to uh, work on finishing his. I'm actually going to work with, let's do it the big one. Oh, here, let's do another. Let's do let's do a big one, okay? So 10 and a half by 12, and I'm gonna walk you through the thought process here. So 10 is really what I'm using for my box. I'm always adding a half inch because that's gonna be the fold over part that we can, you know, to attach it with. So I'm going to go ahead and fold this over. Okay. And now that this is 10, I'm going to just cut, do this in half. So this one's going to be five. So half of five is two and a half. So I'm going to go, well, I'll, I'll go this way if it's easier. Either way, on the bottom, this one is directional. So, okay, on the bottom, I'm going to go two and a half. Fold this over. And you're totally going to have this by the time we've done a couple. And then I just want to do half of each of these. Um, so I'm going to do two and a half. You guys have to let me know if this makes sense. And then on this one, it's going to be seven and a half. Sometimes it's easier to do things on a big one because I'm looking for a scissors. Did oh you want mine? No, I don't want yours. <laughs> here's the scissors. Okay, here's mine. Mine's better. Because uh, you can see what I'm doing really well. And I'm not being very careful when I'm on live here. You know, if you want, you can cut, you know, little slivers off and give yourself a little more, a, a little more perfection. I'm just going for speed when we're on live. So if it's a little bit off, you know, you can putz. This last one, I cut all the way off. And I always like to angle it a little bit because it just makes it easier at the bottom. Okay. So here's my big box. And then, okay, who's making these with? And over in the back porch stampers, you know, when we're over, we're going to see all kinds of boxes done with all kinds of paper. You want to tell them it's still working out? <laughs> I am not very efficient. <laughs> Well, you're, you know, you were not cut out for a factory job <laughs> or fine motor. But do you see how that's just closed up so easily? Now I'm going to take the same thing. I'm going to do my, my top here, just corner around. And I'm going to close up the bottom. Now I'm just going to look here and see, and guys, look at that. How cool is that? So this is, this is the biggest one. So just notice I'll put it sideways. Now, if I want this to be my front, then let's see, I probably want these to go on last. 
I don't know that it matters. I'm going to put that one in and I will, I'm just going to put some tape on here really, really quickly. I would really do um, double rows of tape on here or a little more glue to, you know, you, you get the idea, but we're just going for, we're going for speed. And like, I always say, I think it really helps to pick some paper you don't like, do your mock-up patterns, and then you kind of know how to do it before you use what you really, really like, okay? And then I'm just going to go ahead and close these up. So I put my adhesive on three of the these bottom parts. And obviously, I, I have adhesive on the inside, which I obviously didn't mean to do. So, you know, I'll mess up too, but that's okay. I won't remove the adhesive so my gift won't stick. I, uh, okay. I thought I had to put it in one place. I had to put it in three different places. Yeah, and then look, at, here's what I did, Tim. Yours could use a, a pencil. Do you see? I'm just going to take, I'm going to take this and poke it, push it oh. down because it is a little hard to get them. Okay. So you could use a pencil or I have a pencil right here with a little tip on it. And there is our box. So the finished one. I just added some words and cut out fussy cut from the other strip that I cut off. Just cut out a couple of those and added. I think that is just a gorgeous, gorgeous box. Where I could use my letter opener. Yes, there you go. Anything you have there. Tammy, when you get your cast off and heal, yes, you will have lots to look forward to with that. Yeah, and aren't these easy? It said, um, yeah, your bone folder, anything that's long, anything you can use to put these on. Okay, now does this make sense? We're going to go on and just keep making them. So this is going to be, I thought it would be fun. The we is actually me, her. I thought it would be fun to do some different sizes just because then you kind of just get in the habit of, oh, that's how you figure it out. So the next size I'm going to do is eight and a half square. And you'll notice I'm always doing an eight and a half. This part could be anything you wanted. So if you have an idea of what you're making for gifts, you can kind of arrange it around the box, but remember, I'm going to do my half. So I'm going to already just score that. So I'm kind of going to ignore that. Fold that over. Just these are just to, for visual reminders. So this part is eight. So putting that in half is going to be four. Okay. And so then my half mark here is going to be two. So that's what I'm going to use here. I'm going to do two on the bottom. Because my bottom wants to match, you know, I'll, I'll share this in a minute. My, we want these to be squares. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to do up a box? So these need to be the same size. So in between here, these are going to be two. And that's why this is two. So these are four even sides. So I think if you can think of it in that term, then it just becomes easy. Oh, yeah, that's why you would do that. I love my, I got this from Stampin' Up. This is such a cool gift. It's a little noisy. <laughs> So it's a, I am aware when I drag it around here. Okay, then I'm going to cut on my lines. Okay, now we'll hear some who's making these along. Are these just easy? I love easy things. Uh, that is my favorite, and including class, we're doing a couple that are a little more work, but my favorite thing is easy that you would just pull out, things you would pull out and do over and over again. That is my favorite thing to teach, my favorite thing to do. You can always step them up by adding, you know, lo lovely decorations on them. So I'm just going to close this up, close this up. I just think that is just so cool. And then on three of the bottom ones, I'm going to put... So you actually knew that ahead of time. You had to do it on three. Well, the inside of your box. Yeah. The inside of your box, you don't need. I know. I mean, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to pick three. You, you can decide if there's a way you want it to show. I, I just decided since I messed up the last time. And really, I would take my time and do a row there and a row there. But we're going for speed. And I'll still use these. So it's all good. And then one at a time, I will take these off. I think the trick is having fingernails. And the trick here is to keep oh them square because they might not want oh. to go exactly where you want them to go. But to see, I'm just going to square that. I and I'm going to put the, that over the square. I should have waited for the tutorial because I 
<laughs> no, Tim, you did great. You, you set the stage. Well, not to do it. <laughs> it's all good. But you know, you could have these sitting flat and just do this putting together too, you know, at the end when you if you need a gift. So I just think things like this. I think things like this are just awesome. Okay. Okay. That is it. Oh, I didn't do the corner rounder. So I could leave it just like this. No. And you can see I can put in, I could do a couple of holes and do a ribbon. There, but you just don't need to, to keep it closed. So that's why I'm leaving it. Because I just think this is so awesome. Okay. So there is our next box. See, I just would like that to hold a little flatter. But that is, that is gorgeous. And so I finished the one I did. I finished this way. I just took something else, and this is from the same paper. Just cut a little accent. Uh, Susan said, these are cool and easy. There are. And Connie, thank you. She said she loved the um, my 12 ways to use the Stamparatus class. So that's very cool. Okay, now we're going to work down to a little smaller. Let's do, let's do the teeny tiny one. This is four and a half by four and a half. So this is another square one. That's the teeny tiny one. Uh -huh. And you're going to start noticing that I'm looking for easy numbers because we want just easy math. Unless you want, like Rebecca, if you want to do more complicated math, <laughs> we always joke about that. But so you're going to see I'm sitting with things that are going to be easy. I'm going to take my half inch off, fold that, and then I'm sitting with four. So we've done five, we did 10, and we did eight because all of those are easy to put in half. This one is four, so then it's just easy to put in half with my two. Did you hear that scratching? That was the other side. I don't know what's with my thing, okay? Now, half of one of these, these are at two inches, so half of that is going to be one inch, and so that's going to be the size of my bottom. And I'm going to put this way because I'm going to do a one inch. I have, see, I have to fold this so I can see the score line. Yes. So I'm going to need, I'll do, that's right. One inch and three inches. Um, and you know what, Tim? What? I'm doing my box upside down. So see, <laughs> yes. you're setting the stage. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> but we'll use this one too. We'll just pretend. <laughs> you mean the flowers are going the wrong way? Yes. But it was kind of an upside down kind of day. Mm -hmm. So I think that'll be just fine. And let's see, I think I can see better on this side to cut. Oh, that is too funny. Okay, I'm going to do this one. Uh, see what happens. In a rush. I'm going to cut those. And then I'm going to put this on again. If you did it this way, it wouldn't matter. That's true. I would think that would be better, so I wouldn't see my upside. I, I maybe should, because then you won't see the upside down flowers. And you won't have a clue that I did it wrong. Okay. But it's on tape. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? That's an easy fix. Now, this is going to be cool because this is only two inches. This time I can use my um, topper punch like this. And so I'm going to go in and I'm going to push this in and I'm going to make a different kind of topper. That's what these smaller Ooh, ones are. Like so that. on the larger ones, you could use a die. I mean, there's all kinds of things you could do to get different. Uh, I think that die that has like even this wavy looks could be fun and make an interesting corner but for little tiny things this is really i think adorable and then you know so you know what's missing on these is it doesn't have that center line so do you see how that makes it bow out mm -hmm. but it's not creased and that's what keeps it closed together so i'm not sure well i guess it won't take very long i'll put i'll put quick little tape on these Tim, I think you had a good idea. To, yeah. I won't feel so bad because yes. it'd be hard for me to give something upside down. I can say it would still be fine, but I'd have a hard time giving it, except to someone who would understand. I think most <laughs> and could everybody, laugh about it with. everybody out there would understand. I think this group would understand. I, so. I could give it to people in this group. <laughs> but somebody else might kind of wonder. They might understand. think, I think that's why you buy things at the store, Karen, because <laughs> the machine does them correctly. <laughs> Oh, but you don't know the fun we have if you don't, if you're not a crafter. And then it's just closing it up like a box again. Just gonna add my little pieces. So over in the backward stampers, you can do this in any size. This is just the basic, the basic shape. 
And these are some that just are, whoops, are just um, easy to have. So not this, I'm just gonna use my pencil and stick in here. That's to get that bottom one down. And I think that is just sweet. That is. I just think these are just really fun. Okay, and you know what? This one's gonna be just like it. We still do, we'll still do one more, but do you see how these are the same, but just taller? And so any of these boxes could be done shorter. So here is the, the biggest thing. This is the template and this will be on my blog tomorrow. But the important thing is, this is the same template for the um, 10 and a half by 12, I believe, and the five and a half, whatever. It doesn't matter, these two are the same and this is a half inch. So this could be two inches, two inches. This could be four and eight. Six, you know, what, what, kind of whatever. Does that make sense? So I've just shown you how you measure all of that. And I'm just going, I won't even finish this last one, but we'll just I'll put it, the first part together again. So quick little review. I think, and I just can't wait to see what you guys do. I said, I'm going to have all of these ready to put something in. So this piece is four and a quarter by six. I wanted to show this one because a lot of times we have six by six papers. Oh, and paper shares are coming up. People have been asking about them next week. I'll have them out. Uh, either is there, side works. Is there, is there upside down or right side? Uh, up? You know what? This would be the right side up here. We'll see if I can do better this time. Okay. And so actually, I, th I think it's just going to be easier. It really doesn't matter how this goes, but I, okay, I was just trying to do this. So if I take my half inch off, I'm at four. So that means I'm going to do two. Because then this is folded in half. Okay. Since I did two, half of that is one. So one, now I have to see, this is where it matters. So one is going to be what I put across the bottom. And then I'm going to flip it this way so I don't have to deal with that end because I want to put one in the middle of these. So I'm going to score that at one and at three. And then cut. And then cut. See, we have them down. These would be easy to make just a whole bunch. And I think they'd be pretty on the table. They'd be pretty like as a centerpiece to have people or, you know, just like on your counter under your tree. I think they're just really fun. So I'm going to do this part. Close this up. So anyway, this is the kind of stuff we do all weekend in class. And then I'm going to put this in. So uh, still join us if you can. I'm going to put these in. Should do my topper. And then it's just like the others. I'm going to close up my bottom. And there I have that. So these are these are the same width. Now this would hold like uh, lip gloss or some fun little thing like that. This would probably hold more like little candies. But you see they're the same thing. It's just the length. So th this is the part that matters. You just want to get that right. And then half of that measures your bottom. So it is just totally easy. So I just love all of these sizes. So I hope you had a good time making these with us all today. All of these sizes. And now I can't wait to see it. And we'll see a bunch of you this weekend. And come join us. $50 a month. We have a great time. So it's pretty fun. And you can just try it out for a month. And if Karen comes down with laryngitis <laughs> or something, I'll teach the class because I know what it is. <laughs> yes, so we got this part. But anyway, this is one out of 12. But anyway, see you over in the back porch stampers. Thanks, you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. We Goodbye. appreciate you all. And let me know if you have any questions. <laughs> Bye. If I can. <laughs>